There's a new company here in Melbourne that was founded by Melbourne University in collaboration with a bit of a genius. This guy and Melbourne University, they got together and they came up with a system to extract battery grade lithium from lithium brines. It's way faster, much more cost effective, and a much better way of extracting lithium from lithium brines than what the Chinese have. And I believe China's very concerned about this technology. If you look at their recent statement within the last 24 hours, they said they're cracking down on lithium shenanigans and skullduggery in China. And it appears as though they're willing to take any means necessary. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. If you're new or if you're not new, I'll be at Fully Charged Show. I'll be presenting there at the show in March next year in Sydney. You can get a 10% discount on tickets to the show. If you use my promo code, I'll put the code in the description below. Plus, I'll be at Fully Charged in San Diego in California next year in October and also in London in April next year. I'll have codes for those shows as well. Now this story has taken me quite a bit of research but I have decided I'm going to invest in one of the companies that benefits from this technology because it's a huge advantage. And I mean, this is game changing. It is. There is no other possible way to explain this technology. There is so many cost advantages of sending this lithium to a lithium refinery in China. You don't need to do that anymore. This technology completely changes the game. It's cheaper, more efficient, and you can have a far greater product at far less cost. It's brilliant. I love it. But what is most shocking to me is that the mainstream media have pretty much not reported on this at all. It's ba it's essentially, if you're watching this video, you're probably one of the first people in the world to know about this technology. And I'm going to explain at the end of this video who I'm going to invest in and how, and how I believe that, that will benefit more me. Maybe you too. But if you're in Australia, don't listen to this video, please. Don't watch, otherwise I could get a big fine. There is a mine in Argentina which has just discovered lithium brine and a lot of it. Using this new technology, they're able to skip 18 months of site production, 18 months of really delays of time when you could be making money. And when I say making money, if you look at the numbers here, this company is going to make so much money, their margins are astronomical. And they're only factoring in margins at half the current cost of lithium today half the current cost. This is essentially two companies, a mining company and a technology company. EcoSolve, they have the technology that makes this possible. The mining company has a license to actually use their technology. So more and more companies, more and more mining companies are finding out about EcoSolve and they're saying, ah, okay, brilliant, let's do it. Let's do it now. What EcoSolve does is they make a percentage of the profits. So it works very, very well for them. EcoSolve's patented and very unique lithium solvent extraction process is the culmination, they say, of four years research and development between Dr. Carlos Sorrentino, Phil Thomas, and the University of Melbourne Chemical Engineering Department, led by laureate professor, Dr. Jeff Stevens. EcoSolve say that based on the research they've conducted, solvent extraction, using their method, is much more efficient and cost-effective than fractional crystallization. That method has just been proved. It works. The membrane filtering, MOFs, absorption, reverse osmosis, and ion exchange are some of the ways that it's currently done. All of those are far inferior to this new system. Econ Research, in conjunction with Melbourne University, had developed a new solvent exchange technology which will enormously reduce costs and increase efficiency for lithium producers. What does this mean? This is going to accelerate the ability for these companies to produce lithium massively. Right now, with the price of lithium at an all-time high, an insane 900% more than what it was only about two years ago, there's a lot of money to be made. So EcoSolve technology cuts capital and operating costs and accelerates project startup. That's the key here. Massively accelerates project startup. It enables mining projects to actually leapfrog certain steps. There's no need for evaporation. And the amount of lithium you can recover using this technology means there's a lot more lithium to actually sell. The technology enables lithium chloride production in less than four hours. 95% plus of the solvent is captured for reuse. So basically, the solvent you're using to extract the lithium from the brines. 95% or more of the solvent can be reused for the next lot. The lithium carbonate extracted is 99.5% pure. This has been proven in a couple of tests they've done within the last few weeks for a major mining operation in Argentina. Actual lithium recovery is more than 80%, meaning 
very little is wasted. A lot of lithium is wasted in the techniques currently used in China. It's one of the big downsides. In a lot of the techniques they use, they actually end up wasting as much as 50% of the lithium. There's other big advantages of this technology. There's no ponds, ion exchange, absorption, or other processes required. Plus, CapEx is half of an ion exchange or fractional crystallization plant. Setup fees are minuscule in comparison. Ongoing costs are much lower. You basically, you're basically just paying a fee to EcoSolve to use their technology. And then away you go. They actually say that OPEX is less than US 2,500 US dollars per ton, all in cost. Considering the current price of lithium per ton is 84,300 US dollars, well, $2,000 per ton is minuscule. Bay Resources a mining company has just reported on their use of this technology. They say that they have achieved what EcoSolve says, 99.5% pure lithium carbonate. Here's an extract from the company's news release from October the 28th. The Chemical Engineering Department at the University of Melbourne, Australia has successfully produced lithium carbonate from lithium chloride extracted from the company's brines at our mining operation in Argentina. Spay has acquired the first EcoSolve production license, which prioritizes the company to be the first client to commission EcoSolve to complete the construction proposal, preliminary and plan engineering and manufacturing of the plan. And as a result of using this technology, we can accelerate our timeline by 18 months to two years. What does this mean? Lithium can be extracted much quicker. We need it now, we need it fast to reduce these prices. In addition to that, it enables us to be much less reliant on one country who has monopoly right now on lithium refining, China. The company said the brines and the lithium carbonate that was produced are being assayed by an external laboratory to corroborate the results achieved by the University of Melbourne. The brine was subjected to 10 phases of continuous processing that took approximately 22 seconds for the solvent to extract the lithium in each phase. The 10th phase extracted 135 grams of lithium from 140 grams, 135 grams from 145 grams. That's a lithium recovery rate of 96%. The company promised more than 80%. Instead, it delivered 96%. This is insane. This technology probably changes the game more than anything else I've reported on on this channel. 96%. And it's only two, less than about 2,000 US dollars per ton. You can recover and reuse the solvents on the next lot. This really changes everything. And guess what? This is the solution that we needed. This is the solution that the world needed to bringing down the price of lithium. Not only that, much more important, massively increasing the supply, giving the world enough lithium to make electric cars, to make all cars electric. Many of you contacted me and you're fearful, you're worried. There's not enough lithium. There's not enough lithium. Well, there is. There's plenty of lithium brines, more than enough to go around, more than what we need to make every electric car sold by 2030 fully electric. Now, it may not happen that year, but it will most certainly happen. I'll be investing in this company. I'll have more information about this for our Patreon supporters and for our YouTube members. If you want to be a Patreon supporter or a member, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you for watching, my friends, and have a great day. Bye-bye.